Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Miami Dolphins. So here today we're going to be talking about what I saw from the St. Uh, the St. Louis game. I don't know what I'm talking about. The uh, Tennessee Titans game. Uh, obviously, nobody cares if we win or lose this game. It was the first game at our new stadium, which was really cool to see. The stadium looked really, really nice. But uh, other than that, it really didn't matter who won or lost. It just mat It kind of mattered with like individual performances. That's what you look for in this. These kind of nobody. It, it just make who you're gonna keep and who you're gonna cut. Basically, is what this game is. So. <laughs> You know, we weren't seeing the starters at all. This was just individual performances, but we did get to see our second round pick, and which was huge. I never thought he would come back this soon, and it was so awesome to see out there him out there on the field playing. It was it was awesome. Uh, obviously, Kenyon Drake coming back after after all his injuries, so it was awesome to see our young players come out and play. So let's get into individual performances. First off, obviously, got to start off with uh, Xavier Howard. Xavier Howard played really really well. He did give up like one pass to Harry Douglas and that was it uh but nothing too major he didn't look uh bad at all out there he looked actually looked really really well uh obviously him coming out of college really good at pressing really good at uh cover he's really good coverage corner um in terms of man coverage he proved that out there he looked like that he looked as advertised very good tackling corner coming out of college he came up and made some huge tackles didn't let anybody break free of his tackles like most of our corners do uh, other than really Byron Maxwell we don't have really great tackling corner and Xavier Howard really looked like he could you know come up and hit somebody so that looked really really uh so he, overall he looked really really good I liked uh this is obviously his first NFL action for in, in forever so this it was really good to see him perform at that kind of level without doing anything hardly at all uh, over these past few weeks so that was that was really uh really really uh reassuring to see that and it was awesome to see that I can't I can't believe he's back this soon I thought he was going to be week one of the regular season which would have hurt our team so bad so let's get down to more people on the secondary. Uh, Tony Lippett uh, and Bobby McCain. Tony Lippett came. Tony, remember the. Like, I've, I've brought this up so many times in the videos. But do you remember the play against New England when Tony went up and batted that pass down and you could see the athleticism on Tony? You saw that in the pick in this game. What an athletic play by Tony Lippett. Going up, high pointing the ball, and coming down with it. He was underneath coverage. It wasn't his man came up, picked it off. Uh, it was actually a really good throw by the quarterback. Uh, and he just came. He went up and yick that thing it was it was awesome um what was the other thing oh yeah bobby mccain bobby mccain obviously was struggling in the preseason on it in terms of when we put him on the outside not doing very well i think we were just testing that out to see what he would have there on the outside uh obviously not very good at that because he can't he really can't overcome his size he has the athleticism too but i don't know he, he's just not very i don't know he's just not a good outside corner we could get into that and talk about that for 30 minutes but moving on with the video we moved it back into the slot. Obviously, he's battling with um, Michael Thomas for that position. A very important position in the Vance Joseph defense. So, uh, it, huge to see him make a play that we haven't seen him really... He's had two picks this uh, preseason, but the last two preseason games, not very good games from both Tony or Bobby. So, it was really re reassuring to see them come out and actually play really, really well. Obviously, not going against the Tom Brady type of quarterback or anything, but still a really good play uh, to bait him into that throw and then pick it off. Uh, by Bobby McCain, so great performance by Bobby McCain, great performance by our secondary, caused a lot of t turnovers. There's not really anything bad. Other thing, the only thing bad I could take a really, really away from this game was Jay Ajayi. Uh, not very good. Looked kind of like, mm. I mean, are you only like you looked very one-dimensional. Uh, obviously, one of the criticisms of Jay Ajayi coming out of college was he's got stone hands. He can't really catch the ball. And so far this preseason, we haven't seen that. In practice, you see that he can. Catch, we've seen an amazing catch from him in practice, but in preseason, haven't seen that. Dropped a lot of balls. I mean, when Ryan Tannehill threw that pass to him in the flat in the Atlanta game, it looked like he was trying to catch a cannonball like it, it hit him and he fell over so it was you know jj not not doing so well not having a really good preseason at all uh so that would be the only negative i could take away from this offensively Kenyon drake looked amazing i'm so happy about Kenyon. i think i could like of the, in terms of the receiving game brandon dad hit him for like a 30 yard gain coming out of the backfield he had a a, a, a run where he totally reversed field and had a little like a little bit of a barry sanders look to him and cut it up field uh to, for a positive gain which would have been like a loss of like three or four so Kenyon Drake played amazing. Uh, uh, offensively, there was nothing really. Uh, Leonte Crew played really well. So a lot of our young players came out and just balled out. Other than, other than Jakeem Grant, obviously Kenyon would have had a kickoff return for a touchdown if he didn't slip and fall. Brandon Dowdy played really well. I don't know if you know that's a that's a whole other situation. Will we keep Brandon? Will we keep Matt Moore? Who are we going to keep? I definitely think we're going to keep Matt Moore. I, I think I don't I don't know what we're going to do with Brandon. I really really don't know. So that is going to be it, guys. I'm Skyx Three. Another negative you could take away for this game is nothing really. I, I could say it, but I really was looking for Chris Jones and stuff. They, he, Chris Jones had a good game, but not not a very consistent game. Uh, Wernsley had a really good game, but only in the pass rush, defense, uh, rushing defense, not very 
not very good at all. Uh, and the kid from Can uh, Canada, he played very well, but again, passing, pass rushing very well, not so much in the run, def uh, the run stuffing, re run defense. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm tired. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. Not so much good in the run game, but pass rush looked really, really good. Uh, so that's about it. I don't know who you're gonna cut, who you're gonna keep. I would love to keep, you know, Chris Jones. I would love to keep some of these guys. I would love to keep keep the guy from Canada, Wormsley. They all looked really good in pass rush. Uh, I, I would love to keep them all, but you can't keep them all. You gotta cut some of them. <sighs> and uh, so that is gonna be it, guys. I am Skyx Three, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I got some highlights for you if you wanna watch those. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Look at the stadium complete. Ah, oh, looks like hey, you know, just a, a little job. Ooh, look at this. And wide open was Kenyon Drake out of the back. Fake to Andrews. And it's drilled and intercepted in midfield by Bobby McCain. Bobby McCain still on his feet. And brought down at the 23 by the running back Andrews. McCain was playing the slot, the nickelback position, and he came off and the slant route just picked it off. It'll be third down and 12. Far cry from a first down. Tanny with time. His pass. And it's picked off. Picked off by Tony Lippett. Lippett. Still driving. And will go down at the 35.